Hello everyone, my name is David Beamonte and I am product manager for the Arduino Cloud. It's a real pleasure and honor to be part of this Arduino Day and have the opportunity to speak about what's going on on the Arduino Cloud. As you all know, Arduino is very well known because of the hardware, the boards, the kits, etc. But in this presentation, we are going to change the focus towards how we can manage, monitor and control that hardware. For those who might not know, what the Arduino Cloud is, I will do a short introduction and then I will jump directly to present the latest news and features that we have introduced in the platform. At the end of the presentation, I will give you a sneak peek into the exciting future of the Arduino Cloud. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin with the presentation. And first, let's just start introducing the Arduino Cloud. All of you are here because you are Arduino lovers. And that is because Arduino has made IoT and do-it-yourself simple and accessible for everybody. The Arduino Cloud shares the same goal. We want to keep it simple and accessible. Creating connected devices that can be managed from the cloud should be easy both for beginners and skilled users, and that's our main goal. That said, let's get started with the basics. The Arduino Cloud is a concept that identifies the whole platform. It's an all-in-one platform that can be used for development, deployment, and device monitoring and control. The platform has two main applications, the online web editor and the IoT cloud. On the one hand, the web editor is the online alternative to the classic Arduino IDE. It is the easiest way to get started with Arduino programming. It is zero touch, as you don't have to install the application, bother with the application dependencies and configuration, or to install the libraries. On the other hand, the IoT Cloud is the application that enables you to manage and monitor your devices and their data. So the web editor is the way you have to interact with the firmware of your devices. You can modify your sketch and program the devices. The initial phases of the development are typically done with your device connected to your PC via USB. The Arduino Create Agent is the application that you install locally in your PC that enables the cloud to communicate with the device in order to program it. Alternatively, once programmed, the devices can be updated without cables using the over-the-air feature. You have the ability to store all your sketches in the Arduino Cloud, and the web editor gives you the ability to manage and share them. The IoT Cloud platform is the way you have to interact with your devices once they have been programmed. You can connect your devices and define the variables that you want to synchronize with the cloud with bidirectional communication. Those variables can be managed from the dashboards using a rich set of widgets. Those widgets enable you to send actions to your devices or show the real-time or historical data of your devices. The IoT Cloud additionally has a simplified version of the online web editor, where the sketches of the things can be edited. This is very useful for beginners who could be somehow overwhelmed with all the web editor features and just want to focus on the sketch associated with their thing. You can access the IoT Cloud in many different ways. The most straightforward way is to use your web browser, but you can also access your dashboards from anywhere using your mobile phone and the Arduino IoT Remote App. Additionally, there are many other ways to interact with the IoT Cloud that can be useful depending on your use case. For instance, using the command line tool called the Cloud CLI can be very convenient for users that want to automate tasks using scripts. Similarly, the API can be used to automate tasks or perform integration with other platforms. Some clients in different programming languages can be used as a wrapper for the API instead of using the API directly. Finally, you can use the Node-RED nodes. And last but not least, we have the integrations with third-party platforms like Alexa, IFTTT, Make.com, or Zapier. So basically the process to work with the Arduino Cloud is a three-step process. You can develop online with different options depending on, on the needs and skills. You can use the ready-to-use templates for an out-of-the-box experience, or you can use the automatically generated sketches that can be completed with your code, or you can use the web editor to have the full Arduino IDE experience, but online. To program the devices, this can be done with the traditional USB programming over the air or through the command line. And finally, you can monitor and control the devices with the IoT Cloud. 
Well, so now let's jump into the most interesting part of the presentation and let's see what's new on the Arduino Cloud. The first thing that we that I want to speak about is the, the new supported hardware. We have added support for a bunch of hardware boards. Some of them are Arduino hardware, like the Opta Portentage 7 Giga or the, or the recent plant watering kit. But we are not leaving behind the ASP32 users and we have included support for the C2, S2 and S3 platforms. Additionally, now it is possible to do OTA over the air updates for ESP platforms too. This was a feature only available for Arduino boards in the past. One of the recently released features that we are more excited about is the phone as a device. The Arduino IoT Remote app, um, which is available for Android and iOS, was designed with the goal to control and monitor your devices using the Arduino Cloud dashboards and offer full control in your hands from anywhere in the world. But we went a big step further and enabled users to use the app as an IoT device, collecting information from the mobile phone sensors and sending the data to the Arduino Cloud. This feature automatically creates in the Arduino Cloud everything needed to monitor the sensors. That is the device, the thing, and the dashboard. Starting to play with real hardware can be tricky for non-experienced users. So this feature enables users to get familiar with the Arduino Cloud device management environment without having real hardware and using their own phone. Additionally, there is another cool feature. You can continuously monitor the sensors with the app in the background. And so you can use that data for real projects. If you think about it, a whole new world of possibilities opens up. You can now create applications that merge data from your phone with real-world actions. You can, for instance, use geofencing to define virtual geogra geographic boundaries uh, to trigger actions based on your location. With that information, you can automate tasks at home based on your location. For instance, turn the lights off when you leave on and on when you return, lock doors and adjust home climate control. Or you can keep track of loved ones and get instant notifications if they leave designated areas. But you can use other sensors like the accelerometer. For instance, you can use it to detect accidents when sharp decelerations are detected. Or you can just use all this information to create fun projects like controlling remotely a robot with the mobile's accelerometer or creating a cool game. Only your imagination sets the boundaries of what you can do with this new feature. We are continuously listening to our users and trying to improve the user experience. For that purpose, we have included a couple of new widgets and have many more in the pipeline, as well as dashboard improvements. We recently announced an update of the percentage widget. This latest update allows you to customize the widget with a variety of icons, making it easier to identify the purpose of the widget at a glance. You can choose from a range of predefined icons, including battery, temperature, storage, and more. Additionally, we have introduced the ability to set a threshold, and the widget's color will change when the value goes above or below a certain value, providing instant visual feedback. So, whether you're tracking your device's battery life or monitoring your storage capacity, this is the perfect widget for keeping an eye on important metrics. We also recently released the new advanced chart widget. This new widget is a significant upgrade from the previous chart widget, offering more customization options and functionality that will make it easier than ever to visualize and analyze the device's data. Its ability to display multiple variables in one chart allows for easy comparison of data points, making it particularly useful for tracking multiple data streams such as temperature and humidity in a greenhouse or energy usage in a building. Moreover, it is highly customizable, allowing users to adjust the colors and types of the, of the charts, the labels on the axis, and the legend to make the data easier to read and interpret. One limitation of the standard chart widget is its inability to display data over custom time periods. The advanced chart widget offers the ability to select an arbitrary period of time, giving users access to the full history of their device data, according to the retention period of their plan. This is a 
crucial advantage for users who need to track long-term trends and patterns, enabling them to make informed decisions based on their device's complete data history. These two widgets were long-term demands from our users, and we are really excited to bring them to life. Next up, we have the Arduino Cloud CLI. This is a very powerful tool that enables users to access the major features of the Arduino IoT Cloud from a terminal. The Cloud CLI provides a new way to execute scripted operations on the Arduino Cloud, allowing for massive device provisioning and making it a long time demanding feature for skilled users. With the new Cloud CLI, the Arduino IoT Cloud now has a full suite of tools available for every kind of user. You can perform most of the tasks that can be done using the web interface, including creating, deleting, and listing devices and things. Things can also be bound to devices, and dashboards can be managed in a very similar way. One of the key features of the Cloud CLI is the ability to download templates of the dashboards, devices, and things in different text formats, such as JSON or YAML. This allows you to modify them and create copies of the entities with some properties changed, making it easier to upload the new templates to the cloud. You also have the ability to deploy over-the-air firmware updates to one or multiple devices. In summary, among many other use cases, the Cloud CLI is also well-suited for scenarios where mass scale and automated actions are needed. It can be easily integrated into scripts, making it possible to streamline the provisioning process and even hook it to automation scripts. The Arduino Cloud now offers a wide range of new templates that can help you build amazing projects with minimal effort. These templates include the Cloud Energy Meter, which lets you monitor your energy consumption using a Maker Wi-Fi 1010 board, a Maker 485 shield, and a Modbus compatible energy meter. With this template, you can keep track of your energy usage, reduce your electricity bill, and limit your environmental impact. Another exciting template is the I love you pillow. We all know that being without that special person in your life can be difficult, but what if you could send love and affection remotely over the internet by just hugging a pillow? Okay, we can't really send hugs, but what we can send is a sweet emoji through a messaging app, triggered by you giving your pillow a hug. When you hug the I love you pillow, you will hear the sound of a heartbeat coming from the buzzer inside. And depending on the length of your hug, a different emoji will be sent to a chat box in the Arduino IoT Cloud Remote app. For pet lovers, the Pavlov's cat template is a must try. This project lets you train your cat to respond to a sound just like Pavlov's dogs. With this template, you can have fun with your cat while also, also exploring the capabilities of the Arduino Cloud. Or if you don't have any cats, you can create your own one using the Nerd template. Other templates include the Plant Communicator, which helps you to monitor your plants and the plant watering kit, which allows you to build a smart garden setup with a Nano RP2040, a pump, and a moisture sensor. These projects are perfect for those who want to develop their own greenhouse and improve their gardening skills. In conclusion, the Arduino Cloud's new templates offer a wide range of possibilities for makers, developers, and enthusiasts. Whether you want to monitor your energy consumption, train your cart, or build a smart garden, there is a template for you. Okay. These projects are designed to, to be fun, educational, and environmental friendly, and they showcase the power and versatility of the Arduino platform. Okay, and those are some of the glittering features that we have recently included in the Arduino Cloud. But what's new to come? At Arduino, we are committed to providing Arduino Cloud compatibility for every new connected board that we announce. But we are also focused on enhancing our platform to support other platforms and technologies. So stay tuned for new updates related to new hardware. One of the key areas we are currently developing is event management and notifications. We are excited to share more details on this soon. In addition to this, we are also working on introducing new widgets and further enhancing our dashboard functionality. But that's not all. We are always eager to listen to our users and make their experience even better. That's why we are planning some major changes to both our web and IoT cloud editors, as well as renewing the platform's navigation to make it more intuitive and user-friendly. So we have exciting times ahead 
we are really excited about sharing more news soon. And this is a wrap. I hope that you found this presentation interesting, that you enjoyed it, and that you learned something new. Thank you very much.